This is an RTV6 update working for you. Thank you for joining us. I'm Amanda Starantino. A man convicted of murdering an IU student will not be getting out of prison or getting a new trial. An appeals court overturned a lower court's decision to release John Myers. A jury convicted him of murdering 19 year old Jill Bierman. Attorneys argued that Myers trial lawyer did a poor job representing him. The appeals court ruled the state's case against Myers was too strong to overturn the verdict. Brownsburg Community Schools confirms a positive case of COVID-19 at the high school. The district did not publicly announce if the person who tested positive is a student or staff member. Officials say they have taken steps to contact Trace. An Indianapolis gym owner wants to help Hoosiers manage the stress of the pandemic through the power of yoga. Taylor Made Wellness on the Near East Side offers free yoga classes on Tuesdays and Thursdays. For more info, go to the Taylor Made Wellness Indy Facebook page. Kevin. Temperatures close to record cool in the morning. 51 is the record set in 1974. Predicted temperature just one degree warmer than that in Indianapolis. Way off the mark of 65, which is your average temperature. Here's some other low temperatures from north to south. Quite cool, the coolest within the seven day forecast, and we'll make a move on a warming trend after that. The humidity is still very low Wednesday, Thursday and Friday. We're back above average with the humidity returning over the weekend and some thunderstorms on Sunday. Amanda. For more weather and stories you need to know, download the RTV6 mobile app. Thanks for joining us.